You're watching Retirement Talk with Eric Carney, Southwest Florida's retirement television. He's an author, a radio host, a fiduciary, and Southwest Florida's premier investment advisor. Here is senior investment advisor, Eric Carney. Hello once again, Florida. This is Retirement Talk with Eric Carney and Joseph Lanza of Retirement Wealth Advisors. Eric Carney is the founder and CEO, Joseph Lanza, registered financial advisor. We're all here in a fiduciary capacity, trying to make sure that people here in South Florida can be and stay retired. How are you fellas doing this week? Good morning, Spike. Fantastic. We're doing a little more casual today. You yeah, must, you must yeah. come straight from an appointment. Or, <laughs> no, you're looking good. And that's the whole point, is it? You know, we've actually had people say this before, write an email, say, look, I'm in retirement. Can I not have you guys in suits? Can I not have you guys in, you know, fancy, hard polished shoes? It's like, I'm coming in in blue jeans and a t-shirt because I made it. I'm retired, right? Yeah, there's a lot of people that are walking off the golf course coming in to <laughs> yeah. see us. They're getting off their boat. They just came from the beach. I mean, we've seen everything. So It's, yeah. it's about lifestyle planning, and, and that's what we want to talk about. I would also like to spend a, a real focus today talking about how we put together an actual income strategy. Um, it might be as simple in your mind as, well, I've got money saved in my 401k and my investment accounts, and uh, at some point I'll turn on my Social Security, and, and that's my income. But it's a lot more complex than that. It can be a lot more complex than that. We have to think about the tax efficiency of mm -hmm. our accounts. Right. Are we going to continue to let them grow? And when do we turn on that Social Security? We'll get into that. We'll unpack a lot of it right now. Let's just start with the concept, the income plan. Mm -hmm. um, when you came on board here, uh, as Eric here is the founder, w was it newer putting together a, a retirement income plan as opposed to maybe some of the places where you start out where it was all about investing and just piling mm -hmm. in of assets? Well, luckily enough, Eric is like the father of my career here since I started it there. So I don't know anything other than building a financial plan first, right? Wonderful. So we see it from other clients coming in though, where you know we'll mention, well, we're gonna put this together, a plan for you, an income plan or a financial plan, and they'll be like, oh, I never got one of those before. Right. And they've been working with an advisor for four mm -hmm. or five years. And we've actually seen somebody come in that had been working for with an advisor for over seven years. And that same advisor they was working for was running commercials about coming in to get your free financial plan written. Now, that client had never had a financial plan done before from that advisor. And they had to ask them, hey, where's my financial plan? Oh, we'll get someone over to you. We'll, we'll get set up a meeting and we'll get that plan written for you. Yeah. They've just been focusing on the investments for this long of time. Right. And that's, you know, it's, it's one piece of a very large pie. Right. Now, one of the things that, that really started to come to mind, if I think about myself, uh, my girl, us going into retirement, we've mm -hmm. got totally different kinds of investments. Yeah. I, I would honestly say that I could I say this about myself. Our, our investment styles are, are pretty similar, but that doesn't always happen. Um, and, but we've got different accounts. And if you're putting together an income strategy, it's not like you can pool our 401ks together. You can't take our investment accounts and, right. and whatever else we have, maybe an inheritance or anything else, definitely not a pension plan. How do you pull all these pieces together and figure out which ones we're going to take from first? Yeah. So it's also interesting because some people have been married for a very long time. Some people, this is their fifth ma fifth marriage. You know, I mean, we've seen everything in 23 years. It's like, how many times have you been married? You know, so the bottom line is, is that everybody's coming in differently, right? And they, they, some people manage their money together. Some people manage their money separately. What we're trying to do is say, okay, how do you want us to set this up? Do you want two separate income plans? Do you want to run it together? How would you like to see it? So, you know, the, the thing is, Spike, is Florida is very interesting. You know, I mean, it's a very interesting state with a lot of interesting relationships, let's say. And so, again, everybody that comes in the front door, it's going to be different. Well, you, you it did hit on something that's very true. We are a unique state. I, I've traveled all around the country, probably one of the most unique states. Mm. But folks have also come down here, and they could be on their second or third or fourth relationship. Yeah. That can be complicated, not just in the income strategy, but then also on the estate planning side of it. So mm -hmm. we, maybe we'll talk a little mm -hmm. bit more about that later in the program. Um, it's so difficult, though, because some folks might need and want to keep all of their finances completely separate. Right. Let's walk down first the pathway of bringing it together, mm -hmm. all right? Um, how many times when people come into your office are they the exact same age? Very rarely, <laughs> right? I mean, most people are not the same age in marriage uh, when they're 
building out that financial plan, which makes it a little bit different, right? Different ages to turn on Social Security. But also when we have a lot of different options of places to take income from, it actually creates a lot more opportunities for us to build somewhat of a withdrawal strategy alongside of that. And one way that we like to do it for our clients, one of our favorite income strategies, is when you can have a market invested account and a non-market invested account, just to be very general. And when the market is performing well, you're taking money from that market invested account, which is pretty much selling when the market is hot, doing exactly what you want to do. And when the market goes through maybe a little bit of a downturn, you can turn on income from the non-market invested account. And now you're not pulling out money from that other account that's tied to the market, it's allowing for that to recover while you still pull money from that other non-market account. And what that has done for people is not only does it allow them to recover quicker, it doesn't not only manage their sequence of returns risks so where they're afraid of pulling out money in down years, but it also helps them sleep at night because they're not worried about, oh, what is the market doing? Am I gonna be able to pay for my bills this month? They know that they have that stream of income coming into them every single month. Okay, our investment accounts mm -hmm. are finite though. I mean, I, I, sure, you, you might have a million, two million, three million dollars in there, but if you divide that out over 30 years by each month and how much you spend, you can run out of that. Mm -hmm. The Social Security aspect of the income, theoretically, is that we're not able to, to run out of it. That's, that's going to be like an annuity, if you will, that would pay for life, right. although we've heard about that running out. Let's start the Social Security conversation, Eric. When, when are you more of a fan of it here? at Retirement Wealth Advisors. There's a lot of folks who are taking it earlier than right. ever before in America. Mm -hmm. uh, do you prefer full retirement age? Do you like to let it grow as long as you can up to the age of 70? Is there a preference for the firm? Well, this is actually interesting. And what we're doing is, is we're actually taking a look at the dynamics of when people actually pull Social Security. And what we're seeing is when a person has not saved as much for retirement, they actually are tipping, taking out Social Security earlier, much earlier. 62 years old, I'll take it. There's really no advice given to them. They're just walking into the Social Security office and saying, turn it on. Now, someone that's better prepared for retirement or has socked away a little bit more money or has accumulated more, now is interested, how can I actually make this Social Security stretch? And a lot of times they're also considering their spouse because women do have different income needs in retirement. And that's the one thing that we always have to talk about. Yeah. It is not just about the man, it is not just about the woman, it is about both of them. And if something happens to one of them, what happens to the other? What we have to realize is when we retire, another word for retirement is unemployed. We are no longer bringing in a paycheck. Now it is our responsibility to take a, an organization of all of our different accounts, our social security, our savings, and now what we have to do is we have to extract income every single month to be able to pay our bills. Oh, and by the way, we've got inflation, we have taxes, we have health care, we have kids, we have grandkids. All of these things come out of there. So why are people going into re retirement without an income plan, without understanding where that income is coming from? Yeah. I, I don't understand how they can do that. And so all these people are coming into our office and they're like, well, we really don't know anything about our income plan. And they've been retired for three and four years. That's a scary place to be. What we're trying to do is build a pragmatic income plan that spells out everything, that everyone is on the same page. They understand based on a certain rate of return, based on inflation, based on income taxes, where they're going to be. And so again, that's something that we can update every single year and it's theirs. But again, people are finding a lot of value with our firm. Right, right. So we, we want to make sure that we're taking all of these into account together. We've got a message here from the firm. Don't go anywhere. We're going to continue talking about your income plan, but we want to get you started on your own personal financial blueprint. If you don't have one, as Eric was just saying, if you're just taking from your Social Security and hoping your withdrawal amount does not delete and deplete your accounts before your uh, retirement is over with, you need an income plan. You need to make sure you know exactly how long that's going to last for you. And then later in the program, we might talk about a guaranteed way not to run out of your money in retirement. But right now, call the phone number you see right here. Schedule an appointment to come into the firm. There's no cost. There's no obligation. This phone call is going to go over to the call center, and we'll schedule an appointment for you. 800-779-1942. More retirement talk with Eric and Joseph right after this.
What does your retirement look like? Is it filled with travel, spending time with family, uninterrupted rounds at the golf course, or are you too worried to even think about your hopes and dreams? Eric and his team can answer your questions with a complimentary review of your retirement and income plan, and it all starts with getting to know you. They'll do exactly that by going over your current strategy to expose the weaknesses that may exist in your retirement portfolio. Plus, they'll explain potential risks and possible strategies to you in easy to understand terms and help get you reacquainted with your portfolio and income strategy. Once they understand your retirement goals, objectives, and dreams, they'll work to custom build a retirement plan to help ensure that you cannot outlive your income in retirement. Because every dream needs a plan. Call Eric today and schedule your visit. You only retire once, so let's get it right the first time. How do you create an income stream in retirement? That's what we're talking about with Eric Carney, the founder of Retirement Wealth Advisors and also one of his financial advisors, Joseph Lanza. I'm just your host, Spike Spangle, and I'm, just, I'm here for the ride. And I learn so much every single week. Thank you guys for letting me be here. But uh, Social Security is, is kind of considered your, your lifelong pension you know, for all of the work mm -hmm. that you've done. Uh, but that word, do, do we see pensions that no, much anymore uh, coming in? Pensions are becoming rarer and rarer. But a lot of people's parents in retirement, they got issued mm -hmm. pensions from their companies, right? And it was pretty nice. You get a cost of living adjustment. You can get a survivorship for your spouse even. So a lot of people didn't have the same struggles that retirees are going through today because these companies have switched and transferred over to this 401k now. Right, they're, what they've really done is transferred the risk of somebody's retirement right onto the employee now. It's up to you to make sure you have enough money going into that account to get you to retirement. And once you're in retirement, it's up to you to make sure that that lasts for the rest of your life. So now people are getting a lump sum of money in retirement, and they don't know how much to, that they could take to make it sustainable for the rest of their life. And they're no longer getting a paycheck on top of that. And what we talked about before, when do you turn on Social Security? You have this lump of tax deferred uh, money sitting to the side. Should you do Roth conversions? There's so many of these questions. And a lot of people will think back to get advice from their parents or try to go through retirement from when their parents went mm -hmm. through retirement. And it doesn't work the same way. You can't use that same playbook in today's day and age. My dad's got a buddy who worked. Do you guys remember Ma Bell? Oh, one, yeah, yeah, of course. Of the he got an early buyout in his mid-50s. The guy's been retired for almost 40 years, right? Wow. He's still fishing down here in Florida. But I wanted to ask you, can we still retire early like that today? Or can we still, because there's a lot of the younger generation who's thinking, when you look at these retirement polls, they're like, oh yeah, I'm gonna retire 60, 62, I'm gonna make a big pile of money, yeah. you know, probably from their streaming services, and they're gonna make a lot of money from their YouTube page, and they're gonna retire 50. Do you think we can still retire those early ages with how long we're living? I think some people can, but it's very few, and it takes a lot of planning, right? There's a lot of effort. There's also a lot of sacrifice. When you see somebody that has retired at a younger age, you know more than likely, unless it was inherited, more than likely they sacrificed an awful lot to get there. We have plenty of clients who want to retire in their mid-50s or their er very early 60s. The thing is, is that it takes a very a great deal of planning to actually get them there. Now, I will tell you about one client. When they first came in, I knew how much they were spending. I saw their assets. I knew pretty much their performance. I did not think that they were gonna be a good fit. All the way home, it's another one that we talk about, Spike. I thought about them and I thought, their advisor dropped the ball, their rate of return was low, their spending was through the roof and they thought, we wanna be done in another two or three years. We went back in the next meeting. I'm like, you guys, I don't know how to tell you this, but there's no way you can retire in two to three years. I thought that was gonna be the end of that meeting. This client turned to me and they said, Eric, show me what I have to do so that when I retire, I never have to go back. I'm willing to do what you need to tell me to do through the financial plan, through the income plan, through the investment plan. This client has now become not only a very good client, but my very best advocate. And we have a whole army of advocates that when we change their financial situation around, now they're telling us, Eric, if you have another client that's in the same situation, I want you to have them call me. So when you sit down with an investment advisor, 
ask them, can I call some of your clients who are in the same situation? Because we have a ton of people that are willing to talk to you and they're not gonna talk specifically about their situation or their monetary needs, but what they're gonna say is, this is what Eric and his team did for us. And that makes a huge difference for a lot of and people. And all the programs that, that we've done together and listening to your radio show and knowing that you do live events, that, that just, that got me really excited right there. Because you talk about somebody who, who came in not only the, they had an idea, it, it wasn't the proper way it was gonna be able to be done, but they said, what do we need to do? The reason I'm bringing that up is because I, that's the audience member that I wanna to talk to you. Are you out there trying to figure out, I, I know that I wanna to get to retirement, I don't know how to get started, I don't know who to talk to, let's roll up our sleeves together and figure it out. That's what you guys do in the offices every mm -hmm. single We can talk about, again, standard deviation, alpha, beta, what's going on in the markets, we can talk about estate planning and the right. tools, but it's really about working together with someone. Right. And you do this every single and, day. You know, they're, of, they're doing it for the first time, and so they're getting the numbers wrong sometimes. And that type of client that's willing to say, show me what I have to do, and I'm going to do it, those are the best types of clients because you know mm -hmm. that they're really going to stick to something. And if you craft a plan for somebody and they're kind of wishy-washy about it, they're not really following, it's not really true to their situation, well, then their situation is going to look completely different, right? If you write an exercise plan for somebody to work out six days a week and they only work out two of those days, well, the results are probably not going <laughs> to the results are probably not going to be as great as if you followed through and stuck with that plan. So really, this is what we like working with people who are serious about their situation. Because there's a lot of people who will just stick with the same old set it and forget it portfolio, don't have a financial plan because they're not serious about their money. And we want to work with people who are serious about taking action. And and Eric Kearney here is serious, even though he looks like he's going to the gun show today. <laughs> I, know, I know I know you got him out today. You look at, you're looking good. But hey, but it's a that's all of the retirement planning. It's a mixture of lifestyle. You, you've said many times, you want people to be healthy, you want them to be happy, you right. want them to be involved, involved in the community. So yes, we say the income plan, but I, I'll tell you the truth. When you sit down with guys like this, it, it's 5% of it, you know, maybe 10% of it. A lot of it is really making lifestyle choices and making sure then the income needs match up to a retirement lifestyle that, that you really want to see. Right. Sitting down with folks, figuring out what they want to do, right? Right, exactly. And what we're really trying to do is, again, get you reacquainted with that. We can show you ways to turbocharge your retirement income, but we've got to sit down with you. We've got to see what you're trying to accomplish, what your actual needs are. And there's a lot of people who really don't actually understand how much they spend on an annual basis. That's okay. That's one thing that we're going to help you to do. But again, come in, it's absolutely complimentary, it's not overwhelming, it's actually fun, and you're gonna have your very own income plan written for you. Call the phone number you see right down here on the bottom of the screen so we can get you started on your own personal financial blueprint, 800-779-1942. Or I know as most of you are sitting around watching TV, you probably have your cell phone there as well, open it up to the camera function right now. This way you don't have to remember anything, no website, if you open up the camera pointed at this QR code right over here, click on it, it'll take you over to the landing page. You can schedule an appointment right there. There's no obligation, there's no cost. We just wanna get you started on your own review and we will give you a complimentary written blueprint for your own retirement. Then we'll decide, do we want to work together and help you put that into place? More retirement talk with Eric Carney and Joseph Lanza right after this. Retirement Are you overwhelmed by recessions, elections, and corrections? Believe me, I get it. And on top of that, who's more frustrated with the financial industry, me or you? If you're in a financial no man's land, give us a call today. Let's get that conversation started. Retirement Wealth Advisors. Creating an income stream that you can't run out of in retirement. That's what we're talking about today with Retirement Talk and Eric Carney and Joseph Lanza with Retirement Wealth Advisors. Fellas, we've talked uh, about the portfolios, we talked about Social Security, eh, rickety legs there. There is something that it seems like a, a rail we've been kind of avoiding, the, the income stream that you can't run out of. Right. I'm wondering, is this a tool that you use? Is this something that has become uh, more prevalent today because of the better interest rates and the better offerings. And do you want to go ahead and say the word or do you want me to say it? Yeah, it starts with an A, the big annuity word, right? And uh, I mean, I think that, you know, annuities are a very powerful tool 
if they're implemented the right time. But also what we're seeing is that we fix an awful lot of annuities out there. They were either sold by a bank or some other broker or by an insurance salesman, no financial plan, no written plan, there's really no reasoning behind it, which is so ridiculous to me. So a lot of people have these annuities. They're like, Eric, I don't even know what it is. You want to make sure that if you have one of these, you're answering why you actually have it. And so there's a lot of people that move down here. They come out of state and they say, I have these old annuities and what can I do with them? A lot of times the biggest replacements are for, we can actually give you increasing income that's outpacing inflation. We actually give you a higher amount of guaranteed income. How many times, Joseph, have we replaced annuities mm -hmm. and the people have had significantly more income from them? I mean, especially uh, variable annuities as well. They're charging mm -hmm. these fees of three, 4% per year. I mean, the people's money, they're losing money in up years in the market because the fees are just eating away at these variable annuities. Right. And so there was one actual doctor who we took over three different annuities. The problem is, is that they stuck a huge pile of money in each one of them, didn't give them any options. What we did was we took them out. We saved them over $27,000 a year in fees, which was massive. Now, all of a sudden, his fees are cut down well under 1%. We increased his income, but what we also did was we tiered it out so that he's turning on income at different times and getting increasing income over time. It was astonishing. And he's like, no matter what happens, I have increasing income. No matter what happens, I'm guaranteed more income than the past product. And we know that that will go on to his wife. And he wants the stability of knowing that he has something that's not in the stock market. He has plenty of yeah. other money in brokerage accounts. He's like, but this is an income stream that I can depend on. Are they for everybody? No. There's some people that don't want to have anything to do with it. There's some people that won't invest except an annuity. And then you have plenty of hybrid people. So again, purpose determines placement. And we're not out to sell products. Believe me, this is the whole thing. I feel like there's a lot of people out there who were sold a product and not provided with a solution. We're the opposite. We want to provide you a solution first and then give you the options of different things. And we actually had a client tell us, you know, Eric, you're a very good salesperson. The one thing that I want to be clear is we don't want to be good salespeople. We want to be excellent investment advisors. Donna Crone, my certified financial planner, wants to be an excellent financial planner. We take our fiduciary responsibility mm -hmm. very seriously and we provide the client with what's in their best interest and what they want. Would you say that um, annuities are better for accumulation without loss or are they better tools for turning on income? Could you maybe give me an ideal person who would say, you know what, this is somebody who I would talk to about an annuity? Right. So where we can actually use an annuity is we can actually park it next to a brokerage account. Remember, your brokerage account has market volatility, it has alpha, it's going to go all over the place, but more than likely over time, it's going to have some pretty decent gains. The problem is, is that there is volatility in there. Sometimes we'll, we'll take a guaranteed income annuity and park it right next to their brokerage account. Now, all of a sudden, if you uh, combine the two standard deviations or the volatilities between the two, their volatility goes way down. Mm -hmm. What a beautiful thing. It's fitting in their income needs. It's suiting them. They can sleep at night. It's actually very creative about what we do. That's what I like about our firm. You can see where we are strategic planners, and this is what we're doing. So we're not just sending putting somebody in something to say, there you go. They like to see different strategies. And it is, I will say this about Joseph, you know, he's very creative when it comes to creating income. Um, and, and that's what I'm very happy well, about. And so one more thing on that. So we, we do possibly use annuities, but again, it's a tool. It might not be for everyone. Mm -hmm. um, with the possible shortcoming on social security, mm -hmm. are you looking at trying to take some of the upside in the market? Are you using this market volatility? Mm -hmm. What do you do? Mm -hmm with the upside, is this is this where we do go trying yeah, to have, lock in those returns? You have returns? to stay proactive, whether the market is up or down, you have to stay proactive for mm -hmm. your clients. And we had a gentleman last year where we had some sizable gains in his account. So we went through, we calculated what those gains were, we peeled those off the top, and we actually put those in a separate bucket of money that's gonna accomplish um, possible long-term care event if that does happen. And if not, it's gonna transfer the wealth onto his beneficiaries. And after we had presented this to him, he kind of sat back and said, 
thank you for looking out for my situation. Because I think what a lot of people crave from an advisor is that ongoing relationship, right? We just finished out a great year with him and it wasn't like we were sitting down in our meeting and saying, look how much money we made you. Okay, we'll talk to you next year, right? No, we were sitting down saying, look at how much money we made you. Now let's use this and create different strategies for you. And that's what people want now is somebody that's taking a look at their situation, whether the market is up, or whether it's down and constantly looking at trying to fit them in the best possible situation. And people are looking for income and again, we start going to that interweb out there and you type in searches you know uh, products that, that provide income uh, I go down a whole rabbit hole everything from municipal bonds dividend paying stocks do, do you use some mixture of, of other assets in there as well absolutely I mean you have business income you have master limited partnerships you have limited partnerships you have you have all different kinds of capital gains dividends there's all different kinds of income that we can create the one thing that is the common denominator when it comes to income is people are looking for one thing, imperishable income. They want to know that they're not going to have to turn off their paycheck. They want to know that their bills are going to be paid no matter what it is. I've actually had clients to say, okay, Eric, I'm going to sign on with you. I want my income. You understand my lifestyle. I don't want to hear about market volatility. I don't want to hear about anything. You take this over. And I'm like, I got it. And that's what we have to provide them, you know, and, and people are very serious about their money, which is what we want to be, but we're very serious about it. So again, if you're very serious about your money, we are very serious about working with you. Right. So that, that's kind of what I was going to ask, I guess, to wrap things up here is, you know, the, the kind of typical person, because you've said before, it's got to be a match both ways. Th this is a relationship. This isn't a transaction. Mm -hmm. This isn't a pitch. It's you're going to be with these clients for five years, 10 years, 20 years, right. maybe 30, and then possibly even passing it on to the kids. Mm -hmm. So it's a relation. Who does make up an ideal person to pick up that phone today? Well, basically what we're seeing is retirees now are a lot different than our parents. We have a client right now that actually rode motocross out in Denver, Colorado, calls me up and says, hey, I got to put it off. I'm going python hunting. It's unbelievable what a dynamic lifestyle that we're living today in retirement. It's significantly different than our parents, but it's also more expensive. So again, if you want an income plan, you really want to know and understand where your income's coming from, give us a call today. If you want us to take a look at your financial plan or you're out there in a financial no man's land and you just want some direction, give us a call. We're looking forward to meeting you. I'm not sure that everyone has the risk profile of your Python hunter. <laughs> Yours might not be quite as risky as his, but find out exactly what kind of portfolio would work for you. We wanna make sure that you have an income stream, as Eric said, that is imperishable. Call the phone number you see right here to get started on your own personal financial blueprint. It is no cost to you, 800-779-1942. I've been sitting in for Cynthia DeFazio. I'm Spike Spangle. Thank you for watching. We'll be back next week. Hey, Southwest Florida, thank you so much for watching today's show. If anything's resonated with you today or you're really looking for that second opinion, give us a call today. If you're serious about your finances, we're serious about working with you. Remember, you only retire once, so let's get it right the first time. Have a great week and an even better retirement.